Good evening, everybody. Happy Monday to you all, and welcome back to week four of A Life Connects, our very first virtual only event brought to you exclusively by A Life Group. We are back for another week full of wonderful sessions and schedules and speakers. And this week, it takes on a particularly entertainment and industry focused uh, appeal because we are welcoming we are welcoming some very very famous faces from across modeling pageantry content creation and much more and so tonight we are delighted to kick things off with a very very famous face in fact one of Mal you could say one of Malaysia's most famous from the modeling circuit we are delighted and very grateful to welcome Amber Chia who is one of Malaysia's most prominent exports, you would say, in, on, on the modeling scene. She was the first Asian woman to find success on a global campaign with guest watches some years ago. And since then, her career has blossomed across acting, entrepreneurialism. entrepreneurialism. She set up her own model academy, which we'll be talking about tonight, and much more besides. She strutted the catwalk across multiple continents, and we can't wait to hear what she has to tell us tonight. And to help us do that, we are also delighted to welcome the fabulous Mr. Arthur Tan to host the session. So. I will hand over to those two and let them enjoy themselves. I know they've got a lot of interesting things in store. So without further ado, please say hello to Arthur and Amber. Thank you so much, Jacob, once again. Hello, Amber. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. So nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a while after MCO until now. What's too much? We just saw last week, you know, and now it's just so strange. It's like, now I'm connecting to you virtually. Actually, first time connecting to you virtually. We are having a video call last week. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Anyways, you know, to all viewers as a, who are watching on A-Live Connect and A-Live Group, it's a very well welcome. It's another Monday. And our rule today is that it's going to make sure that you're going to be entertained like there's never tomorrow. While I'm seeing that the viewers are really picking up. Everyone is here to, you know, to watch the one and only Amber Chia. But today is that we're going to keep it authentic. We're going to keep it real. We want to understand more of Amber Chia, who it's really Amber Chia's behind the scene. Now, I, I really have to say this as I have to start it off as I really, oh my God, Shan Liu is here. Yeah. Hi, Shan. Hello. Hi, Josephine. Shan, thanks Hi, for joining us here. Hello. I mean, to all the 50 viewers, wow, you know, Amber, everybody is just watching you. Wow, you know, the viewership are just no, picking up. We might be here like, to watch you, Arthur. You're uh, singer. I, <laughs> no, 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 no. My job is to make you look good. You you are the stars again today. So my job is to make you even shining like a brighter star. Now, this person, I guess, honestly, is one person that I've known for a decade since when I got this on my skin in the game as an entertainment scene. And I, and I remember this as like the very first time when I interviewed her for an event. I can't remember what event it is. I was still trying to recollect my memory. That we actually had a language, linguistic as a barrier because I'm a banana, I'm a Xiang Jiao Ren. So I can mm -hmm. speak Mandarin. And as I heard, Mandarin is shua, 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 shua. But you know, it's making chow, you know. So here I ended up after I could speak English, as I but later I realized the event as I was actually a multilingual. So essentially I was doing an interview with her. Uh, I don't know, I don't know whether in the end I think we spoke Malay, you know, or what, but honestly, it was really not as a, the most ideal interview. However, look at this, 10 years later, right now, I mean, here I am uh, with Amber speaking the uh, one common language. I don't have any linguistic barrier, and yet my Mandarin is only good enough as I do only say. Uh, ni hao ma, so, you know, eat a sunset, will you cheat part? You know, I'll probably just see it. Maybe now we'll interview to Mandarin today. <laughs> no, sure, kidding. by all means, no, they can do that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But, you know, Thanks. essentially what I'm saying is that look at how much she has transformed, you know, as a person. Now, Amber, as I know her, is one of the most down-to-earth as a personality. She works as a hardest, you know, than anyone as I can possibly think of. And yet, at the same time, be it whether you know, you are road sweepers, you know, be it whether you know you are lady picking out the rubbish, she regards everybody as you know with a smile and as a, with a laugh, as humble as you know as what you are saying. Not only the gorgeous looks, but really so much of values in her. Now, so with that as an amble, you know, uh, you have a lot of fans right now. Wow, so many viewers right now are watching live. It's like you know because of you. Please tell us, say, who is the amble chance you know behind the scene? Tell us is that that where you probably wouldn't want so many people. Uh, to review, you know, who is the real Amber Chia? Share it, share it. Everyone. Yeah, this is me. <laughs> no, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm could be uh, someone who can be um, get fun together, which is that I'm, I'm going can go crazy sometime, you know, especially when I'm together with my good friends, like out a, a group of friends, you know, I can just laugh whole night and get crazy, and not only with my friends, but my family as well. So I'm a person who are uh, not like what you see on the magazine, always having the very cool model. Kind of model. 
quite oh. friendly. You can get you can get to know me anytime if you want, especially these days with social media. It's so easy for you to connect with anyone to one. And also, uh, yeah, that is basically me. And I'm a lot of people say I'm hardworking, and a lot of people say I have a little bit of sexy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Kind of uh, that, that's how people describe me. So yes, I'm I'm I I'm really passionate about what I do. That's make me hardworking and also yeah, um all the while I think all women have to be confident, sexy, and all women are hot out there. It doesn't matter your size, it doesn't matter how you look, you everyone's all girl and women out there are beautiful. Now so that's one thing like you know, if it's gonna be hardworking, uh I mean like Sean is, you know, and some of the friends I, I believe that you are right now watching, you know, support me you know if you agree this, you know, just let's show some love as I just say yes. Uh, so ba basically, I mean, hardworking, I think, you know, there's no other definition to define Amber because Amber, if you follow her, you know, on Instagram, during the morning, she can be in Perlis in Penang. And then after that, by evening, so she can be in Johor Bahru. And then after that, next moment, she can be in Singapore. You know, like, it's really like catch me if you can. So I really think, you know, hardworking is just an understatement, you know, for Amber. But really, more importantly, Amber, what is your purpose of life? Because right now, I believe... Okay, I, I wouldn't want to put so much of sexy anymore because as I probably already bypassed that already, right? You know, like I believe now people want, you want uh, probably people to know you as an entrepreneur, as somebody is, you know, well, you know, with, I mean, you are really wise, uh, but probably, you know, oh, a very successful businesswoman rather than a successful supermodel. What is your take on that? Uh, well, um, not you, you mean that now you want how how yes, I, right now yes yeah like how we want people to, you know, to know you regard you because I mean we will come we will talk about amateur academies you know very uh, shortly I, but I'm okay with either though because uh, I'm started amateur academy ten years ago and when the time uh, onwards a lot of people look at me not only a model they started looking at me as a uh, entrepreneur as well and I have my son nine years back so my son is nine year plus now so oh my god so well, fast, I actually grew up. Up. maybe I post too much uh, my my my. my my, my fun time with my son. So a lot of people start remember me as motherhood. So I'm okay with either. But for me, I think every woman can be, uh, the most important thing is, you know, you in, when you are in a different age, different character, you should enjoy different thing you are doing. That that's make me hardworking and passionate. And also to, because that made me passionate. That's why I'm hardworking. And that's why a lot of people ask me why I never get tired. I think that could be one of the reasons. And yeah, although I'm very tired, I, I believe that I think after call me like few days back, we are having like friend check, we are laughing in the phone, Shan Liu also in the phone. So it, it was, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoy. I think that they're just me. I just enjoy whatever I do. And, and what keeps you alive all the time? What really keeps your energy all the time? I mean, are you like, you know, on the, I don't know, some sort of supplement? And anyway, uh, Amber, you never get. <laughs> You see, like myself, uh, look at my all my uh, eye back, la, wrinkles, la, you know, no more jawline. La, and you still look exactly the same as uh, how I first known you. I, I think uh, passion is very important. I mean, yeah. like, oh, you have a oh. wife. Make me thirsty. Okay, passion oh. for what you do is very important. That is one. That is a key because you have to love what you do. If it's not, you will get tired easily. So you have to be loved. You have to learn how to like what you do. That is one. Two, it's, uh, I think, to keeping yourself happy, that is the, uh, beauty cigarette of me because a lot of people ask me why i never get stressed when i never get angry at why i never have bad temper i think yeah i just i just like that i i'm i'm more i, I take everything easier i i'm not like those people like you know some people they, they look at the thing and they will quite struggle in that that area for me i will look at both sides when i face any challenges on any problem i will think positive and that made me feel better and that made me uh stronger and go and conquer the problem on set the problem on something like that now ladies and gents as you are tuning in as i do a live connects as i and this is probably i think i'm not quite sure the fourth the fourth week you know the fourth week i think but of oh. course more importantly you are tuning in as i to get to know more so you know, about amber chia you know the one and only amber chia that she's going to reveal not only in the supermodel side but as what she mentioned earlier, you know, the motherly part of her, if you have followed her on Instagram, you see that, you know, actually how fast Ashton has grown up. I mean, I've seen Ashton, you know, when well, he was a baby, you know, and little, little, you know, like, well, Ashton is like a photocopy, you know, of Amber, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so, so speaking, you know, of the fun part, you know, I really have to resonate to that. As I, uh, I mean, I think I saw some comments as I, uh, on that. Literally, yeah, you know, Sean Liu, you know, said, you know, totally agree with you, Arthur, you know, super hardworking. Uh, yeah, I know I'm seeing a lot of questions as I like, coming in, but of course, as I, we will reserve the questions right in a bit. Now, coming to, uh, I believe this is the part that where I have been, I mean, I've been, 
I, I follow you on Instagram, of course, you know, and I know now you are super excited as well over this new hobby that, you know, you have recently discovered since the 60 days ago, MCO. I've never quite seen you, you know, playing TikTok, but right now, like, you have you have harnesses of your creativity and you seem to enjoy it very much. And I yeah, know why you're doing that. Yeah, so young. That's keeping myself yeah. young. Yes, yes, that's right. But you're already young yourself, right? Eh? So, guys, as I, uh, I want to just uh, uh, draw your attention as I uh, to some of uh, Amber's very, very interesting posting about TikTok, and we're probably going to understand a bit as I uh, of how did she come out, so, you know, with the whole thought processes are uh, behind. So, uh, just give me a sec, so, you know. So, to all viewers, you are tuning in right now, so, you know, the one and only Amber Chia, and let's take a look, you know, at some of a very interesting TikTok. Now, I particularly uh, really caught my attention when I first saw this, as so, you know. So, like. Let's Check it out. Oh, that is uh, Kawa on the treadmill. That's right, walking on the runway. Yeah. 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 I think like, that's. You know, and then after that, oh, I, I still to wait to get it. Yeah, like, but that, that is that is like, you know, for, uh, exercise at the same time, practice your Kawa at home at the same time. That can yes. do. I'll get to the part. As I, and then after that, we also have a pillow challenge. As I will never forget as I, Ashton as well. Yeah, of course, it's like the sun. Yeah. Oh. He is so cute. You know what? He's the one who tell me that he wants to join me on this video. Oh, really? A pillow challenge so that is cute. so many viewership. And then he's like, Mommy, can I join you for the pillow challenge? I say, Of course, you're welcome. And yeah, it, it's fun. And the reason why I started TikTok is because I think uh, TikTok is making me more creative. Like a lot of things you have to, uh, you know, be very creative to make that video and i think people who are playing tiktok they are all very creative and also uh tiktok is like a new non new new generation thing and uh, at first you know i started tiktok about three, uh i think two years ago i stopped for a while i stopped for a while due to you know my busy schedule and recently because of nco i have more time and i come back to tiktok and uh, you know what you will be surprised when you play tiktok when you go to like uh, my son's school, primary school, everyone will shout on you. Ah, I saw your TikTok. I was like, yeah, even though this day a lot of people come to my YouTube and TikTok channel, they tell me that, you know, they are from my son's school. So what I wanted to say that it's uh, every social media, they have different target group, like Facebook have different crowd. It doesn't mean Facebook, Facebook have everything. And then Instagram, it could be people who like fashion, who look look beautiful, like beautiful photo. And then Twitter, Twitter is more like uh, you want immediately news. And then TikTok is more young, more creative. And also back to YouTube, it's another generation. So basically every, um, social media platform that have a different target group and different creativity different needs so that's very interesting insight amber like you know right now you're positioning as a mother as an entrepreneur and people always want to you know have that norm to have that serious side of you right you know like oh entrepreneur this is how you know because you are managing a business or this is how you should be acting oh because you're a mom you know and this is how you should be but you seem to be defying the norms you know all the time and that's perfectly okay to you so probably maybe could you share you know, to the viewers and you also your own opinion right how do you don't stick to one typical norm you know mm -hmm. and you show this you know, this side of you that, you know, oh, it doesn't mean, oh, because I'm a mother, I have to be the one that, you know, always like, like, like this, you know, and taking care of, you know, of the children that have to be serious, yeah. And, and look yourself. Oh, me and my friend, my son is like a best friend, like lover. Sometimes people thought that we are lover. When he's grew bigger, people might thought he's my uh, young boyfriend. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, for me, I think uh, uh, I've been in the industry for 21 years after. Uh, wow, yeah. Uh, wow, yeah, but yeah, I'm started earlier. I started when I was yeah. And uh, have been changing one year time, right? In these 21 years, a lot of things have been changing, like a lot of stuff from offline to online, a lot of uh technology, on a lot of uh catwalk skill, makeup skill, everything, fashion, sand, everything have been changed in my in my world. So uh the kids now also very different, but it when you talk about people who born in 80s, 90, 20, 2010, it's all different. They have a different personality. So I kind of like learn from them and uh, I trying to get into the new things, the new world, and at the same time to learn from the new norm. I think you you have to, if you can't change the world, the world are changing, then you have to change yourself. That's me. That is what I felt. Right. Also. 
Yeah, right. so I, if you can't be the one changing, and then if you can't be changed, then it's like you'll be the one that you know who's changing, right? It's very similar like business. If you don't disrupt, you'll be disrupted at the same time, right? Okay, mm -hmm. I would definitely want to really pluck more of your brain juices about your academy and all. Wow, you know, really, so many people are tuning in. Okay, so uh, as usual, we have really, uh, for us, Vince Chan is always very active as you know, uh, a viewer. So uh, once again, thank you so much, Forrest. You know, uh, probably we'll just pick up some questions right now. So if you do have any questions, please just uh, you know, uh, list down your questions before so we get to understand more about Amber Chia Academy. Oh, wait, Forrest, Vin Chan, you have super stunning body. Oh my God, you yeah. make me. Okay, there you go, guys. <laughs> so, Forrest managed to oh. capture BB Kpo and Joanne Khan, you know, and uh, that was also the show that I hosted, you know, and I think. Uh, Probably they're already in talks right now. I don't know, you know, but of course, Forrest is they definitely put on a very nice profile picture. Even Amber, so it's uh, captivated. Yeah. Uh, yeah is, so it you, real? is it real, Forrest? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know, Forrest is, I think more of a, Forrest, is your body still the same like this or not? Wow. How many oh, years ago cool. this? Is it still the same then? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Forrest, thank you. You have nice body, by the way. That's what I want to say. Because, okay, uh, so, uh, so we're going to take a question as I right now from Forrest as I asked. So we're expecting more questions to come. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about the current generation of models, Instagram versus working models? I think this is a very relevant question. Yeah, I think the model now and the last time also different have been changing. Like last time being a model, you just have to do runway, commercial. Now it's so much different. We have to handle our social media and we have to do our live stream. We have to do uh, some, some commercial posts for different uh, clients. We have to know how to uh, shoot ourselves, taking nice photos, to put it into the social media. And also, we also have to learn how to do broadcast and a lot of things. So what I wanted to say that, that it's the, the, the modeling last time, it could be only runway, but now it has been exposed so much due to the online stuff. Like last time as a model, you only do runway and TV commercial. Now they have social media commercial, they have YouTube commercial, they have uh, uh, they have social media, and social media also playing a big part. It's important as well. So uh, the world are changing. So um, I think Instagram model and also working model, they are linked because the world are changing and click us together. So the one thing that I'm really hearing is that very, very clearly and distinctively is, you know, for Amber, I always continuously staying relevant. I think this really applies to, you know, for all profession. I mean, I think really the one thing that what really makes Amber stand out as compared to other models, besides then all the positive attributes that we have talked about, uh, Amber constantly staying relevant and relatable, you know, to people. And she identifies every single social media account delivers as a different message because the target market is different. So how do you break that down, you know, into a different content? Like, or do you apply all the same? You know, no, no, no. Sometimes different, sometimes all the same. Uh, well, I, I just have to be passionate. You just have to try to like to do it. And eventually, slowly, you will adopt and you will get used to it. It's just like doing this. I, I just started my YouTube account uh, uh, on wow. the doing this MCO and it's a new thing for me I always wanted to do for a long long time finally MCO I have time to start my YouTube channel and uh, it's still a baby it's called Ambitra TV if you guys could you want to see more of my personal lifestyle fun stuff my quality how how I spend my quality time with my son and also the crazy side the self double side of me you know you got to go to the YouTube channel because I cannot put that on my Instagram because of my, my principal Ambitra Academy so certain things you will be only able to see in the certain channel on certain platform. And also on YouTube, I'm teaching like the, uh, the last video, I'm teaching uh, how to do um, transformation, makeup from girl to boy. The people on my Instagram, they could be see my photos. And uh, yeah, both me, but uh, one is a uh, handsome Amber, one is a pre one is a girl side, one is a man side. So basically, I I do, I do the whole video to uh, demonstrate. Also, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I also can do this makeup. And also, I'm teaching like uh, a bit what I know uh, of everything like makeup, posing, modeling, and also um, the last, uh, before that episode was how to be a model. So, and also uh, ten, uh, using your phone to take nice 10 photos. So I'm sharing a lot of my, um, my the tips I know, the tips I know I'm sharing to the public, basically the 10 it's the 10 modeling tips, how to be a model, how can you start your modeling career and uh, what is the real modeling world about because a lot of people think about model, it's only tall and slim. Actually, I do uh, have one episode to uh, let more people know what it's exactly the modeling world are because there's so many type of modeling. 
So, so speaking of uh, how Ember's are able to transform, I will come to the part later, you know, like my personal experience, how Ember able to transform when she actually wore, wore a wrong dress code to the event. So I'll come to that part as I go right in a bit. So as uh, what Ember that was talking this now, you know, probably maybe on your screen right now, you're seeing this makeup brush. Yeah. <laughs> my makeup brush had magic. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> if I'm a boy, I don't look like that. <laughs> oh my god, that is so interesting. Ever, I really have to salute to you. I mean, honestly, you inspired me as you know, really TikTok. I mean, honestly, I was contemplating as to really do TikTok, but because I find that you know, like some TikToks are really like very shocks and dirty, you know, and I I can't foresee myself like you know being so stupid. But I mean, I like I like being funny. I'm <laughs> No, 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 but you know, like you do it naturally, you do it so natural, and but plus, eventually, like, slowly, you will get used to it. It's fun. Yeah. And, 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 and the things that, and some of the TikTok videos that I like, right? Oh my god, the steps are so difficult to dance, right? You probably need, like, maybe, like, I don't know, 967 ticks or something in order to just pose up as a word. So by the time ready, you'll be sweating. Oh, no, by the time ready, you'll be. Uh, no, uh, I'm very creative. Yeah, yeah. The, the latest TikTok video, I haven't put it on my other social media. It's uh, the one I just showed Arthur. Uh, yeah. I was in a helicopter because of... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, that's on the TikTok, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like... Uh, it's creative. A chair can become a helicopter view. So it's uh, something like, I think it's fun to do it. And also sometimes TikTok, you will learn something as well. I learned my cooking on TikTok. That's lots of recipe on TikTok. And uh, even though I think recently, yesterday is motherhood. I'm sure most of you guys see um, this one. The day when I become a mom. Oh, so sweet. The day when I that become was a mom, my husband just born like few hours. That, that oh was my God. So what Ashton was born is on uh oh so exactly yesterday. No 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 okay. because of Mother's Day I throw back. Right. So this is uh, this is yesterday, but the one of course the day when he's born. So basically I think it's amazing. It's like uh so memorable the video. I, I love it. I think it's cool. Okay. Now I can see some business people they have entered my business partners, they have joined in They're like wow William Dews is over here. That's so awesome. we have we have some serious questions as I had so yes, uh, William very smart, uh, you know when exactly the team is. No, uh William do is here, so, you know, okay, so I gotta be more serious here right now, you know, it has to be okay. okay. So now we're gonna take is at the next half an hour, of course. As I, you know, for those who tune in, as a very well warm welcomes, you know, to A Live Connects. Uh, today is that we are chatting is with the one and only Emma Chia to really understand her as a behind the scenes, not as a supermodel, but more as an entrepreneur, and of course, as I as also a lovely mother, a devoted wife, and also a, a very very hardworking individual, and most importantly, a very impactful individual, not only to the industry but to the community and also to the general public as well. Okay, so we come, you know, to the business part of it, like, you know, we'll take probably the next 10, 15 minutes. So uh, to all viewers, if you do have any questions it's about business, about her Amber Chair Academy, now it's the right time so to actually ask a question. So Amber, like, you know, I mean, uh, entertainment scene is one of, our, of course, the worst affected. And I, in MC, you know, of course, all my events will cancel, right? Even before MCOs, you know, eight events will cancel. And, uh, and uh, of course, right now, everyone is just going on virtual, right? But but going virtual, it's a very simple uh, understanding. To execute it, you know, it's very different, you know? And we want to prevent or everyone's copying each other. So how are you going to position Ambachar Academy very differently as compared yeah. to others? I think uh, the NCR did change a lot of uh, SME and also entrepreneur business strategy. Example, Ambitra Academy never have online modeling courses and also makeup courses. Due to the MCO, we have no choice. We have to change the skill of teaching. So we moved some courses to online. And that is a new thing for Amber Chai Academy. I believe not only me, there's a lot of business out there. They are changing the business strategy as well. It's just like my friend just sent me like uh, the steam boot last night. Uh, before that, he only he had four outlets. And he told me that the 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 steam boot of him because 
a lot of things are handmade, so they cannot do delivery because I used to ask him, like, can I tap out? Because then I don't <laughs> need to buy that and eat. Then he said that they, they're not allowed a takeaway and also they wanted to do, like, people to have quality food to enjoy. But because of the MCO, they have no choice. They have to change it to online delivery as well. And Sam goes like Amber, a child occurred to me because, um, if, uh, because a lot of people cannot come to the class. It's not only now, maybe after NCO, another two, three months, we still cannot have a group uh, people together. So we had to change certain things online. So we are moving some courses online now. So it's a new norm. Um, uh, it's a new thing, new way for us to do things now. So uh, speaking of, you know, of the new norm, and of course, uh, I also started to see also Amateur Academy as having virtual classes as well, right? Now, so of course, all these, you know, like I, I believe you, you also came across this, like it's not CEO, it's not the CMO, it's not the CTOs, you know, that has transformed uh, digitalization in business, but it's COVID-19 was the only reason that why digitalization of business is like, took place, right? So I have a very interesting question. Uh, this is none other than Willem Du my business partner and it's always about scalability and it's always about uh how to make business profitable so how do you scale a business yeah. well uh skew my business mm, how do i skew my business uh? i going to skew a business is that across uh, is that, you know nationwide for, across for, regional for, as for fast me, as possible yeah I, uh, I, I always focus, what I know is all, always fashion and beauty. So what I want to do, my, my Ambush Academy, I really hope to become like the, 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 the all in one fashion and beauty school that is what i hope to be in the future and uh, not only uh in a and, and also we are we are trying to adapt some online courses like in the fashion and beauty so that is what i i want to do now also lah. so okay so i believe that right now that with online through online right you're able to scale up your business as fast as possible able to reach out you know to more malaysians mm -hmm. uh Probably maybe before we get that, what's really the vision of Amber Chia Academy? What's the true purpose? You know, or is it is it more? I believe it's just not about superficial or to encourage people to become supermodel, but is it more transforming people's confidence? You know, is it more on the emotional part of it? Probably okay, maybe. When I open Amber Chia Academy, my goal is always to uh, groom the next generation because when I open Amber Chia Academy, I have been in the modern industry for 11 years. So I'm really hope, you know, to pass my knowledge to the next generation. At the same time, I find out that, that it's a need uh, of creativity courses because it's not everyone are good in uh, education, on good in theory. So some of them are good in the creativity part. So that's why when I open Amber Chia Academy, my goal is always for people who want to, to explore their skill and also creativity uh in in that that in, the, in that that department and at the same time of course modeling is my cup of tea i will be include that into the courses as well so in the currently basically we have like a hair makeup nail art uh photography modeling and then we have kids model we have teen model we have the adult model so basically all the courses we have it's all about uh skill and also creativity so can all this go into full digitalization right now it's Ooh, possible, but it's not, not, it's not 100% yet, honestly, yeah. because certain things you still have to be physically face-to-face. -face. And also, with the technology now, not yet, but I believe in the future, yes. Like, example, in the future, maybe we can teach using the VR, so we are more accurate the way we teach. Or yeah. we can have a, I don't know, maybe the virtual, uh, in the future, you know, we have a VR or virtual, you can touch them, you can really, you know, you know, I'm very so interesting, you know, uh, I think I was just having this conversation is that with a group of people and I see that, you know, oh, how, uh, you, so since you are touching so on VR, virtual reality, that I can foresee, right, how people is going to attend as a fashion show by putting on, as, you know, so the organizer will actually be uh, establishing you know, virtual reality and, and teleporting, you know, to people to different parts of the world. Say, for example, like if it's going to be in China, there will be a fashion shows, you know, uh, you know uh, the, the fashion models are going to walk on Great Wall of China. If it's going to be in Paris, people are going to walk, you know, on uh, on all the skyscrapers, so, you know, That's over there. Amazing. So, yeah. So, so That is my prediction as well in the future. Yeah. I predict yeah, that yeah. will happen as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then people, you know, were definitely able to experience this, you know, differently. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Well, you know, like a concert, they already move it online also, right? I'm sure you all know. Yes, that's I right. Know. Yeah, you know, like, uh, I think Sam Hui, you know, uh, did it. 
Gary and Charles, also, uh, yeah. Yeah, Andrea Bocelli, you know, and these two, you know, have uh, created this a really historical, you know, viewers. Yeah. So we yeah, we definitely look forward. Okay, so Amber, is, are we going to look forward to see? You know, I mean, apart from the TikTok and Instagram, are we also going to see like you know Amber Chia Academy with all the models, and then going to introduce us as a uh, an online show? You know, and then after that, yeah, is that going to happen then? Yeah, it well, could be possible in the future. Maybe we can do a online the online teaching. It's happening now, but it's just that uh, maybe partially, not hundred percent yet. But in the future, I believe slowly we can move to more. And then online fashion show, it will definitely happen as well. Maybe in the future they can have the longer runway like me because I'm using the reason why I did the TikTok video as I mentioned to you early before we started the live stream. Um, that the reason why I start I doing that is because I wanted to teach online. So when instead of teaching online, there is no one have big house like the runway. Yeah. So that's yeah. why. I cre created the longer runway in the world, which is our treadmill. You will never end the runway. So you can yeah, just go to the, the runway will always be there. And yeah. the reason why, and also because when I teach online, the the, the technology now, because when, when example, I move my laptop on, on, I move my phone, you know, the light, it could be hang on, not stable yet. So that's why I think, uh, treadmill is one of the things I can think of to teach catwalk online now. And other than that, slowly maybe uh, we we think about other way to teach. But treadmill is really work. I have few students graduated from my online courses and what they do is only practice on the treadmill and they're doing so well. Yeah. They have I think it's all right, like you know, treadmill is the only endless runway. Like you know, so it will never end, right? And it's the best way you know to actually uh, walk on it and uh, practice it. In fact, it's nothing new. It's what Embassy is. Like, you know, it's also part of like, really a learning module, even right before you know this whole COVID nineteen is took place. Yeah. Now, I mean, some of the guys over here like are so particularly interested as like, with your business. So, which saves us like, a lot of my questions. Is like you know, like you know, in my in my brain just as well. I'm gonna flash again. We have a lot of active uh, viewers over here from, of course, from uh, Vince Chan again. Uh, amateur sounds new to me. What makes the um, uh, academy unique to others? And this is a new academy to teach up as an uh, coming professional working models. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he, it's relatively new to him, but in fact, the amateur academy has already been around, you know, for how many years? Ten years. Ten years already, right? Oh, this year is our ten anniversary. Okay, this year is mm -hmm. it's the ten anniversary. So to those who you know who are very new to amateur academy, in fact that you know, but for us, I mean, you, you look like a model. You pass like a model, right? I mean, Amber I will take you as a model anytime. So yes, <laughs> yeah. So what 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 really makes it stand out? And probably to add as a for us uh, question, right, uh, Amber? How do you maintain uh, an A game all the time? You know, how do you stand as, you know, above the rest? Over okay. to you. Uh, actually, for me, myself and my academy, what I do is I'm, I'm still learning. I always treat myself as a, new, a newcomer. I think life is about learning for me. So when you're still learning, you will keep continuing to improve. Like example, of whenever, when, whenever people told me that anything I'm not good at, I will try to improve. That's how I make myself keep improving. And back to Amber Chai Academy, uh, what is the difference between Amber Chai Academy and other academy is because we are like a all-in-one academy. It means that so as a model, you not only have to learn how to walk, how to pose, you also have to learn how to dress up, how to put on makeup, how to do your own hair, how to get ready by yourself for casting, how to do your own profile, how to get ready your casting video and all this. And also Amber Chai Academy do provide a lot of opportunity for our students because we work with a lot of agents so basically, uh, that's uh, the, so basically that is a difference between Amber Chai Academy and other academy. That's why a lot of our models are doing so well, and our hashtag hashtag it's academies of winner because we have so many so many winners. And like uh, I just have a chit chat session with Emilia Henderson a few days ago. She also from Amber Chai Academy, Shina Liam, Yumi Wong, and that's a lot more. We are so proud of our students. They are all doing so well out there. A lot of Miss Universe, Miss Malaysia were. Miss, uh, Miss Astro and Model Search, uh, Asian Next Top Model, and a lots and lots more. So what? I really, really, really can't deny that because as I am, I mean, like you know, not only you have established a homegrown as a uh, modern academy, but you have really touched so many people's life, and you know, as all those names, as you know, which are no stranger to the entertainment scene. Yeah, so you really have made an impact there. But uh, right before I review the other people's questions, so I mean, there are more questions coming in. And yes, so to those who just joined, I realized, hi, Nelson. Nelson is there, your good friend. Is, uh, Amber. Yes, Nelson, Nelson, I believe. Hi, Nelson. 
Nelson, 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 Nelson is joining in like a name. Wait, wait, Nelson is here. Wait, wait, give me a second. I need to put this on my dressing table. Nelson, you're here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, just I'm using Ember Chamas Mariah Pensonic. Look at me, how gorgeous I am now. Uh, you see that 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 that's the beauty is that Ember Ember knows as how to create content. They always find it relevant to say to the brand and also able to amplify so yeah the brand persona. That what really makes us like an individual more outstanding than anybody else. Okay, you know now, what? Uh, I have a video I haven't shown anyone yet. I do a shoot today for uh. I'm the chairman, right? But Pensonic, but since Anelson is here, I think the priority for people to watch should be LE group. So uh, it should be, it should be, it should be LI group. So I'm going to just play the video. Yeah, just. <laughs> oh, there you go, Nelson. Look at that. Yeah, is that particularly for for Nelson? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, Emma, you look so good. This one, I haven't posted this one yet. I just should like, uh, I just completed this video maybe about uh, an hour ago. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nelson, Song, oh, Nelson Song, you really got the right ambassador. Huh? Well, uh, Nelson is actually watching, tuning in. It's like, it must be really, really making him very happy. I think today is you know, going to be a close of celebration. But, Emma, let's get back to, you know, to some serious business uh, because we have also some serious questions coming in as well. So, Ember, like, one of the greatest challenge, I believe, right, it's, you know, you setting up an academy is everybody wants to book Amber Chair because Amber Chair's, you know, name, it's already, they have seen your work, they've seen your portfolio, you know, and and definitely, uh, undoubtedly, you know, you will deliver the best of the best, you know, and after 21 years, you mentioned, you still deliver, you know, an A-class, five stars, you know, world-class service. Now, I believe that's going to be a greatest okay. challenge. <laughs> I'm sure that you know I'm not the only one as I who says this. So I believe that that's going to hinder you know other of your talents from actually gaining like, such opportunity like that because everybody just wants to book the uh, ember. But somehow you manage to successfully build you know uh, other talents as well. You know to 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 become who they are today as what you mentioned just now all those names. So how have you done so when everybody just wants to book ember chair and not the rest? But yet at the same time you're running a modeling academy. Please do share so, you know with that. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm going to answer Vincent's question, Vin Vincent's real question later, okay? Okay, okay yes, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Basically, uh, uh, I think professionalism is very important in all industry. So once you're professional, uh, professional include, of course, your functionality, your professionalism, you know, uh, what you do, you have to know because as a model, of course, I have to know how to walk, how to pose, all this. So I think it's very important for you to have the skill of what you are doing in that industry so that is professionalism and also a good attitude i believe that attitude is very important and for me the reason why i can be in the industry for so long is because i just be myself and i try my best to do everything if i could when the cry the client asked me to do and uh, same goal for amateur academy after i open amateur academy when i teach i teach 100 percent with my heart I'm not like, um, you know, uh, you, so basically what I do is when I wanted to do something, when someone requests me to do something, I will use 100% to deliver what they but, How do you give the opportunity to others? So let's just say now I'm a client and say, okay, you don't have a big budget. Okay, but Amber, I only want Amber, you know, and I probably want, but you you have only one Amber chair and probably maybe the rest of it are all international models. And then after that, here you ask because you believe that you know your 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 students are also equally as good as you, and your job is, is to be teeing them up, right? To give them the same amount of equal opportunity. How do you do that? So now I'm a client. How do you overcome that? Okay, some okay when the client when they, because for me when they ask for model, good, yeah. I will I will call my students of course to do it. But if they want like a brand ambassador, normally they will come to me. On they wanted some. Uh, celebrity appearance or event appearance on judging that's come to my part but they want them to join competition of course that come to my students so it's a different different category of of course they are young i'm i'm the different generations that's one two it's uh, um what normally the client want uh from me and from my student is going to be totally different example it could be uh arthur maybe you have a client you have a a uh, job for me, you're like Amber. Uh, I have a client. They wanted to approach you to uh, uh, to to shoot for this campaign, but it could be the budget of them is really not, uh, which is not 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 my not, not the budget. Not, I'm, not right I, for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I will 
I will now sometimes I will say that why don't you use my student? I have few students are doing so well that I have a lot of followers as well. So I will propose other to my client. That's what normally I do. Of mm. course, if they can afford me, I will be more than happy to do it. <laughs> okay, okay. So will we ever see Amber Chia's you know to be out of the runway? Or is that something that you know you're gonna do? I mean, we have seen all the successful model, Tyler Banks, so, you know, has already uh, is she out of the runway? I think she has already like, you know. Uh, quitted as a model. She's producing, you know, reality shows. Yeah, Tyra yeah, Banks. She's still, you know? But she's still in the industry. So for me, um, I already, being honest to you, compared with ten years ago, I have already cut out so much of show and, uh, uh, you know, especially runway. The reason why is because of uh, runway took a lot of time, and also uh, sometimes life is about give and take. Since I have to start my business, I have to teach run, teach catwalk, then I have to give up some show as well. So it's I won't be able to manage everything. I won't be able to do everything. So life is about give and take. When I take something, I have to let go of something. Runway. Catwalk show is something I'm passionate about, but still, you know, I won't be able to do so many. Maybe I can do it once in the blue moon. That's what I do now. Same thing for a uh, fashion shoot and cover shoot and all this. Uh, for me, if, if you, I, 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 someone used to ask me what age I will modeling until I tell them that until, even though when I'm 80 or 90 years old, after you ask me, that, Amber, can you be my model, go onto a runway? I will say yes to you if all I right, will feel able answer. to walk. Even a tonka, you know, you are still calm as a you know, model, yeah, right? Because I, I'm really passionate about modeling. Modeling is like my passion. It's not like I, I, when I work, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I really enjoy the movement. So that's tell that that is my dream and that is my passion. So that's why, in the, especially in the entertainment industry, you have to be passionate with what you do because it's going to be very tired if you don't have passion in the entertainment and modeling industry. So speaking of a lifespan, as I think this is a very relevant question right now. That uh, as I say that you know you will be also asking, uh, I will be answering Vince Rose's I question. Yeah. So really, how long does it last then? Really, ideally, uh, and especially I think to add on what Vince Rose says, right? Especially women, right? There's always this perception that oh, the more once you are married, the more once is like you have baby and you're unable to uh, have the same similar figure. But of course now it's no longer about body shame anymore. We are seeing you know more plus size models as are really embracing the stage, you know, and popularizing it. So yeah. So really yeah. I think Mm. Winslow, I think uh, for me, a model, it doesn't matter how old you are, but it's matter how old you look. Not only for female model, for male and female. Because if you are 50, but you look like 20, of course you still can model. If you are like 20, you look like 50, of course you will be you know, rejected in certain certain job of, of the modern in the in the modern industry. So it's matter how old you look, it's not matter how old you are. So, so it's not how, how old you look, are, but it's how you look, you know, and more importantly, yeah. how you look, of course, is how you take good care of yourself. How, how you long? Uh, how you long? Uh, how long? It's very hard to answer. Like me, have been 21 years, but there is so many international models like Catmo, Giselle, they, they all have been like 30 or 40 years. They still do runway sometimes, once in the blue moon. So it's really hard for me to put a timeline. But in Malaysia, um, I think that it's a lot of model doing longer than me, like Carmen Sue, you know, she's like, you know, Carmen, Arthur? Carmen yeah, of course, Sue, definitely, yeah, yeah, of course. She yeah. have been like, uh, I think, yeah. 25 or 27 years in the modern industry. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's very hard for me to put a timeline. It's really depending on individual. Yeah. So guys, it's like, you know, to be a very successful model, it's not about how old you are, it's about how you look. And of course, how you look, it's also that boils down to what you eat, how you eat clean, how you stay healthy, how you work out. You know, you mm -hmm. may see that you know, Amber is like that, but you know, I mean, when I, when I, when I sit down with her and have a chat, like three hours chat, it's like, you know, and she just nibble, nibble a bit. And here I am, so just glutting in my food, like, you know, enjoying my food while listening <laughs> you know, to her talking, right? So I guess it's like, that's really what makes the difference. So speaking of that, it's like, you know, okay, uh, I also have another very interesting question. I think this is so, it's a very good education like, to share with people. Uh, again, William's uh, uh, question is, parents don't view fashion modeling beautician as, as a mainstream profession. How do you intend to change this perception from the anger of uh, Amber Chia, economy and also Amber Chia? Uh, for, so hi, William. Um, well, this is just my point of view. For me, I think uh, many years ago, maybe, but now every, I think this all, all this career accepted. Like example, hair stylist. 
used to be they don't count that as a prof, uh, as a professions and beauticians as well i think now you know beauticians and hair stylish and makeup artists they are doing so well and model as well and fashion stylish as well and also fashion designer as well without them we won't be able to put on our clothes without them we won't be able to have a haircut without them we won't be able to look beautiful and uh, so i think all this career now it's consider a uh, important professions in the world and uh, but uh, of course for certain parents they still uh, think that this is not a, a, a proper career but for me uh, my mom used to think that way as well when I just moved to KL 21 years ago when I was 17 I tell my parents that I wanted to come to KL to chase my modeling dream my mom is the one who say no modeling is not a career it's uh, a nightlife is prostitution is drugs and all the negative thing but what i do is i managed to change my parents mind that make me so happy i just have a live chat with my mom a few days ago when someone asked my mom what have you thought about your daughter will become who she is today she was so proud to answer that she never and she's so happy for what i'm doing now so i'm so glad that i will be able to change my parents mind it's not a one day one night thing in it time but the more important thing is i think in all industry the more important thing is you stand firm to do the correct thing and uh, there is a chinese word say hang 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 chu zhuang yan every career they have a master on the head so yeah because just like makeup artists and hair stylish and fashion stylish there is so many internet channel fashion designer are earning like million dollar <laughs> yeah they could be earning more money than all 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 career it's just like gaming i give you a very good example my son wanted to be a gamer his ambition is to become a gamer and he just told me that mommy the winners only 16 years old he won three million in fortnite game i was like wow, wow. and i'm also wow the same as same wow. dollar and dollar three million dollar i'm like wow uh i then he told me that he, he wanted to be a gamer in the future i said that yes if you want you could chase your dream but you have to be number one you only can win three million how about if you couldn't be number one and my son told me that it's okay mommy if i cannot become a gamer i can become a streamer streamer and gamer also is something we don't have in this generation which is just started so this is that the next generation thing so william i think uh what uh, maybe you're talking about people who born in the 60 70 you know they are they're still uh, thinking you're, about you're, that you're, way you actually spoke of william h maybe i'll put the mic maybe i'll put the mic you know that's for william, william, william to hear this as i because yes as i you know he born during that era so probably he will have that <laughs> but i think after now you know what you say probably is going to change his <laughs> it's going to Sorry, his, he has two kids, as I said, probably he's going to send two kids as I get over to Amateur Academy. <laughs> but really, now, now, I think now this generation is not so much about theory anymore. It's more about creativity. The reason why it's, I, that's just my perceptions. It's not like I have to do a disclaimer, whatever I say here, it's just my perceptions. And because of uh, this day, whatever answer you want, you can get it from Google. And uh, for me, I think uh, creativity is something you cannot get from Google. You understand? You know, I, mean? gotta, I gotta really agree, you know, with Amber. I mean, the one thing that distinctively actually I can always remember is the Amber Chan Academy. It's always about parents actually sending young kids or something, you know, to Amber. And Amber, you know, has this amazing mind, right? How she actually posts out all these cute little. I mean, I love babies so much, I love kids so much. <laughs> so I'm also drawn as a to it, right? So when I see kids as like, oh, you know, they're so adorable. And I mean, that's the first thing, right? You know, and of course, I mean, uh, apart from putting it on a business perspective, I think the parents, the younger generation parents, the younger generation parents, not in the 60s, 70s. <laughs> 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 so I think they are very open, you know, in fact, to actually get to say their students is said to be more uh practical uh and then and, and then really allow them then. Yeah, and allowing them, you know, to actually unleash their creativity. Like you know, mm. I remember my parents my parents always say this one thing. The reason why I was sent is, you know, to music school and learning music is that at such an early age, my parents is like, and this was even in the 80s at time, my parents' biggest fear is if Arthur doesn't excel well in studies, at least he can fall back, you know, to become a musician, you know? And mm -hmm. and all I did is that during my whole entire childhood is I was just really playing the piano, playing the violin, and make sure, you know, I ace like, those programs. And I believe right now the, the younger parents are even are even more open-minded they are bolder they want their kids to, say, to really be involved with more practical rather than theory yeah. and in fact amber 
international school, right? I realized as well, uh, they are, they, are wow. school, right? they don't the, have learning modules, so they yeah, go they around. don't. There's not. There's no more handwriting. <laughs> Uh, exactly yeah so they give you like a three whole entire month they say that okay what you want to be so let's just say like you know if i'm that that young student i say i want to be a supermodel do you know that three months literally they find an expert or they will or they will just guide you through virtually or, or digital right to train you how to become a supermodel how to walk yeah. confidently I think, and how to I walk think, tall. yeah i think what arthur and me i'm saying here it's uh it's just uh, we do a disclaimer first it's not 100 yeah. percent. the world are changing the world are changing to the new norm especially after the mco now a lot of things have been changing now my son is study online and being honest to you also i i when we are young we write a rock but now actually I only only I only manage when whenever they need me to write, it's only like when 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 necessary I need to fill in yeah, the form. Um, and some of the form is already digital, right? Using iPad now. And yeah. also sign. So I only do two things, signing yeah. and also when back to the government department, government still use a physical Air for paper form, but other than that, other company they are all digital, right? Already, so I think what we wanted to say that it's the world are really does changing. It's so, all right, yeah. and then there will be new, more and more new job opportunities. As I, even in fact, I think with the post COVID, I think there will be so many more digital opportunities. So I think Ashton is on the right track. Continue encourage him to be a gamer or a streamer, YouTuber. Yeah. He teach me I, how to play game that day. It's, wow, I learned <laughs> from him. I learning. He teach me how to play Fortnite. It's my first time, you know, playing Fortnite with him. It was fun. I I put that video on my uh, which is YouTube channel already called Amber Chat TV. If you guys wanted to watch, you guys can watch it. You know that in this MCO, I also spend more quality time with Aston. It's really yeah. fun to get to know him better, and I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, the MCO is does give me a lot of new experience. I'm, I believe not only me, give a lot of people new experience and uh, started to have uh, new perceptions of uh, business and also uh, of uh, everything as well. I just want to give a shout out to, you know, to some of our friends to join. I don't know whether Amber, you know them, but you know, again, thanks Sean, you know, for joining Sean Lil, you know, always being so supportive. Kelly Seals, you know, Internet House, Andrew Chong, Shin Yap, or William, my cousin is a Boon Ik, is a tear. My brother, Alan Tan, if you can remember, Amber, Alan? Yeah. Alan Tan. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, you know, so yeah, just give Hi, a shout Lee. out. Hi, uh, thank you for standing with us. Sorry, yeah, we, we shouldn't be so formal, right? We have to be more relaxed. Yes, so, you know, I mean, like, yeah, I really <laughs> want to give a shout out to all of them. In fact, I think everyone is really tuning in is it because of you, Amber, really being your natural self. Now, Amber, before that, we play some games, okay, yeah, you know, we want to see the other side of you. Now, share with me, is that what are the three biggest myths about uh, being a model? You know, are models just, what are the three biggest myths? Well, a lot of people thought that more than you just have to look pretty and tall. It's not only that. We need to, we have a certain skill we need to learn in the modern industry. If you yeah. won't be able to do a right pose on right catwalk and right eye connections in front of the camera, you won't be able to deliver your job. So that is a skill a model have to know. And uh, being, and also okay. in the modern industry, uh, as I mentioned, it seems like uh, it's all, it's, it's, uh, it's it's what how to say that it's not about only uh looking good that, that it's also need a skill the first part second it's a uh, um a lot of people thought modeling have model it's always cool a lot of people before they talk to me they always tell they, they always thought that i'm very like lunchy, you know, lunchy. Very lunch you know, lunch know lunch i'm lunch very lunch friendly lunch. i'm very well as well as, <laughs> as your mouth is made of 18 karat diamonds uh, i cannot open your mouth right <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I, I am uh, kind of uh, very easy to get alone with and uh, you can ask me anything if you want and you come, you, even you come to talk to me, I'm sure that I will talk to you on Tech Photo with me. And also in the modern industry, um, while in Malaysia is still uh, booming, there's still a lot of opportunity because modeling is not only about runway and commercial. There is so much more we can do. I just had an interview with um, uh, one of the Chinese newspaper. He asked me about how do I look at the modeling industry and entertainment industry after MCO, which is everything will be quiet down. I tell them that like what we're doing right now is also related with entertainment industry. We are broadcasting, we are sharing knowledge to people, we are sharing our points of view to others. and and teaching online is something new for me as well. And also modern industry is not only, 
have to be physically there to do runway as i mentioned we can do social media video we can do so many things so you have to get to know more what the when the world are changing you have to get to know more what is new in the mod, modern industry yeah there's a lot more so the three biggest myth about model it's uh first all model can walk which is not true because not all models are born uh models are being made so you need practice and practice and practice right you need you a know, skill. Really, yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then after the second myth is that it's basically uh models as so, you know not all models uh what is that not all models uh not all models as so, uh, models are, are arrogant so basically that's an untrue fact because as so, i <laughs> if you really get to know that amber you know like she will just say hello she will just really put on so, that big greeny smiles in her despite that you know <laughs> she she has to be a sale table so, you know to run this you know another place yeah you know and the woman wants is that when she's in a car her car so, is a closet so the moment she's in the car, you know, she will transform herself and literally become a different person. And uh, the third, uh, the third uh, myth about a model, it's uh, not only runways, you know, it's not only physical runways, you know, it's your show. It can be yeah, anything. And not yeah, it can be anything. And not necessarily tall and slim. That's a key. Yes, so, you know, and not and models so, you know, are tall and slim, which is completely untrue because, I mean, look at that. Uh, in fact, even like uh, we are seeing right now, so more and more runway are actually encouraging the plus size model, right? Yeah. yeah, not only plus size, they have a senior model, they have plus size model, they That's have right. teen model, they have petite model, they have kids model. Right. There's right. so many types of modeling, yeah. And I think that's one of the, uh, it's going to be a very interesting observation of Victoria's Secret, like how we're going to see like, uh, because Victoria's Secret didn't do any uh, fashion show last year, which uh, of course disappointed a lot of people. And this year, I think it's, it's not going to happen, but I think we are going to look forward to see as, uh, what kind of transformation is going to take place in the fashion industry, you know, like having, encouraging all the people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, uh, because it's, it's, we are nearing, you know, the nine o'clock and we have fun times, you know, we, we really time passes so fast. Okay, we're still encouraging more questions. I was told that you don't need to run, right, uh, Amber? Yeah, I don't so need to run now. You. I give so all can... my time to you because you are single. Nice, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm giving full undivided attention, but not so no. much for me, but more for the viewers out there, you know, for those who are tuning in as a, on social media as well as, you know, as also live right now. You know, there's a lot of viewers actually that's also just joining in. Do shoot your questions. Any questions is that you can ask Amber right now about her as a person, you know, like, you know, how many times she go to the toilet or so, up to you. You know, uh, I don't know whether she's going to plan to pop another <laughs> baby. Entirely up to you, you know, so, but get to know Amber so right now is a golden opportunity. Uh, about uh, Amber, Amber Chai Academy. Okay, so Amber, so, you know, let's play some games, uh, Amber. So I believe the viewer want to see is a different part of you. So it's a very simple uh, game. Uh, this is a, it's going to be a challenge. I'm going to ask, uh, literally, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to state the statement. And then after that, you're going to answer it as funnily as possible. So say, for example, like, you know, uh, I'm going to start off as, uh, with, with the first example. Models are so tall that, fill up the blanks. Oh, models are so tall that, as tall as can I can I, I have to continue the sentence? Yes, yeah. So yeah. So what Emma is gonna do? She's just gonna continue the sentence in the weirdest, in the weirdest, in the funniest, or also the most logical way. You know, whichever way she wants to. Wow. So yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Emma. Before I start, oh, oh, Arthur, yeah. forgive me. I I hope I will be able to answer all the questions because I I spoke to Arthur <laughs> like every worry. time. When they come, they, when, when every time I want to talk to other, of course, in, in the friendship type, it's okay, but it's just that English is not my mother tongue. I'm worried about I get the wrong meaning of the word, but it's okay. No problem. So maybe I you can answer, you know, like, war, but of course, so, you know, if anybody, you know, uh, who is uh, watching there, so please do, 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 uh, do yeah, do share so your insights, do share, you know, your, your thought process, your views. Uh, so we're going to play so this simple game. So I'm going to, I'm going to state as a statement and then Amber is, is going to complete as a the statement in a weirdest, funniest, uh, but everything is, uh, is in relation to modeling, supermodel, and also her academy as well. You know, everything about industry. Yeah. So yes, Amber. So yeah, let's start. Models are so tall that, uh, like Donna Trang, like. <laughs> okay, models are so tall, you know that uh, that even Donna Trang can't compete, right? Yeah, he's okay. uh, he's uh, yeah. Donna Trang is not tall, right? Am I right? Yeah, Donna Trang is <laughs> not tall. You know? It's okay. So, yeah, that's the fun part of it. Yeah, you know. So, but the whole idea, you know, the whole idea of being funny is sometimes to embarrass yourself. I really think that you know, uh, I really, I mean, just now I just ended as a live show just now. And we were just uh, hosting, you know, two comedians. And mm -hmm. one of the biggest takeaway is, right, and I, and I want to say this to all my friends. Sometimes my friends laugh at me because I embarrass myself all the time, right? 
it's some it's totally okay to embarrass ourselves regardless of whatever profession because why the more we embarrass ourselves we become a happier person and with that is yeah. you know we make other people laugh too yeah. yeah especially in this mco we need to have more entertainment we have to that's entertain right. ourselves that's why i started tiktok <laughs> no i'm just kidding that's right you know there you go yeah you know but of course it's like you need to follow her on tiktok okay. account in order to get more access to tiktok okay models don't wear laundry on runway because uh, well i i wear laundry on runway yeah lah, but if those models don't wear lah. Uh, because certain outfit not allow them to wear. If it's correct answer lah, certain outfit not allow them to wear laundry. But of course, it's not definitely. It's not because they want to show you after. All right. Okay. So you're not fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You know. Uh, if if uh, I mean, uh, ladies and gents, if you do have any, you know, uh, answers to that, you know, do feel free, you know, to be answering it too. Yeah. Now the difference I between. A... Yeah, I saw a question you just sent to me. Models can be ugly otherwise. Otherwise, it won't call fashions. Fashion is not beauty. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah fashion is not only about beauty. Fashion it's about creativity. That's right. Yeah, it's all about creativity. You know, that's right. Yeah, the models can be ugly. Otherwise, as you know, it won't be called as fashion. Then, okay, yeah. the next one: difference between supermodel and model. Ah, huh? wow, wow! It's because they have a super in front of the model. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, as they, we are, we're not we're not gonna it's just, well, like, it's just like super men and men they have a super in front of the man and super woman and woman they have a super in front of the woman so yeah that is a difference so that's what makes you know so the super models you know it's in front of the model and that's why we call it the super model right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah because that's make the thing people super yeah 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 right okay now uh model iq is as good as Atta Tan. <laughs> yes, well, love. Very good. <laughs> he is smart guy. Come on, you know that uh, he will be able to communicate with me many years ago. Also, he couldn't understand Mandarin. That is his IQ. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, well, I'm being praised now. So, you know. Okay. Like, I'm blasting right here. Uh, I think it's from the wine. Yeah. All right. Models who always get banned from Fashion Week are the ones. Which is not professional, as I mentioned. Professionalism is very important in all industry. Yeah, and yeah, other so ones. Yeah, which are not professional. So now it's a serious part as well of immature. Models must learn how to walk like a cat. That's why they call cat walk. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you realize that when the cat cat walk, yeah. they move the heat when the cat walk. So when we do catwalk, also we move our hips. Also, the similar thing is when the cat walk, they walk on straight straight line. If you dump a cat to a string, the cat will be able to walk past. So that's why model have to do that as well. So it's a same skill. That's why it called cat. Very true, right? yeah. And how model and how the cat is actually like slowly walk and slowly mm. bury when they get excited, Spassy. they jump on you there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but then we model will never jump on you, lah. So um, forgot so, about the jump part. We can imagine. <laughs> we can imagine what Amber does is that her husband, uh, she quietly walks together into the bedroom, <laughs> and after that, all of a sudden, when she gets too excited, she just jump on the husband, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, of course, there are more men as I want to jump on the Amber. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, three things that model always carry. Dot 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 dot, and why? Who are three things that model always carry? I think mm. confidence is something model always have to have anytime they have to carry inside of their body. Very right. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then I wanted to be more re relevant. Uh, and also, seen others say that sometimes you cannot put on underwear. So I think model have to carry their own underwear and lingerie because sometimes we does request to put on like a G string and also new bra. So that it's a must, it is a model bag, model bag must have. Yeah. So example after maybe you don't wear a G string. If one day you want to do modeling job, you have to bring a G string. I can't right, wait. To okay. I mean I would love it. I mean it feels very <laughs> airy. If it's very and uh, airy. and uh, another maybe, one thing maybe I need Nicole, maybe you teach me Alvin Nicole, you know, is tuning in. You see, uh, when I do live show, uh, nobody tune in as a way. Amber Charles. You know, Alvin Nicole, like show, uh, will... it's my good friend. He's like a man who ever green. I'm so exactly. jealous. Right. Yeah. I was He's just online right. with him a couple of days ago and said that, oh. you know, the first thing is that all your, you know, throwback, throwback pictures are, but he's enjoying it now because it's like so young. And then yeah. after that, 
He's showing the people like, you know, he has never aged more. Right, yeah, Albert? Yeah, 20 and 55, you look exactly the same. How can? And one more thing is, yeah. model always have to carry its, uh, yeah, uh, if, if you talk about inner, it's always attitude. Yeah, you have to yes, be attitude, right. confidence yeah, yes, on yeah, the stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, thanks, Albert Nichols, you know, for joining in. Yeah, see, I always say, you know, give credit, Albert. Okay, we still continue. So three things that models must always carry is underwear, lingerie, uh, lingerie and yeah. confidence. And last but not yeah. least, your, your attitude, I think that's important. Attitude. Your so professionalism, you know, your attitude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very right, very right, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, I think last but not least is, uh, you know, uh, if models are not Insta famous, they should be? They should, they should have to learn how to be, how to how to gain more followers on Insta. Because okay, it's important you know, now. They should be TikTok famous, huh? Huh? They, they have to make themselves famous, famous law. No, la, but yeah. it's important now. Being honest to you now, being a model, you also have to have uh, uh, very strong on the... You also have to be good on social media. So it's all, all link. And there's one more model uh, so slim because model one dose. Ah. <laughs> okay, models uh, one dose. Is, uh, can I cherry makan now? <laughs> it's like, because you asked me, models are so slim because what? Because, because yeah, one yeah. dose. Yeah. Like, law. <laughs> I don't see that part. Is, uh, yeah, you know. So models are so slim because it's like, you know, tak boleh cari makan one dose. <laughs> yes. So those is like, you know, who don't understand is that like, because they can't find a you know, proper rice bowl, you know, in, <laughs> especially in Malaysia. So yes, yeah. It's a challenging yeah. job for modern industry and for all industry, I believe now. And yeah. But really, I gotta, I gotta really agree to one thing. I mean, really, games aside, jokes aside, that you know, I mean, Ember is like had really stated is that they're really the three distinct things is that like, what model has to carry. I really particularly like is confidence and also attitude because that what really shapes you, you know, uh, distinguish you distinctively. Uh, difference, main difference between a super model and a model, and don't even say it's a, as a model. I think it applies to all profession that you know, it's your attitude, you know, it's it's your altitude, you know, it's gonna bring you, you know, to where you are. Yeah. And uh, always stay humble, you know, always remain, you know, put your egos, you know, right at the doorstep, always willing to learn, you know, and striving, you know, to become a better version of yourself. I believe this is something that Amber, you know, will resonate with me. Although people regard her as a supermodel, but she's always constantly finding ways how to be, you know, I don't know, even a super, super model, you know, and how to really keep improving herself. You know, but I, I, never, I never say myself is a supermodel. I'm still learning. And that what makes you even more humble. And that what makes you even more humble that, you know, so I mean. It's so hard for me to answer the question like supermodel. I was like, do I judge myself? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> no, no, I think, yeah. But for me, I think uh, I get to know Arthur many years. And, you know, it's so fun to get to know you, Arthur. After, you know, you're always profession. I, I, you know what? Uh, he always the MC when I do show. So, uh. Mm. Yeah, he always become the the emceeing on. Uh, Sometimes we attend event together and uh, doing show. So he never be the model lah, but unfortunately, but he always be the one who talking, who earn more money than the I model. I cannot be a model. Yeah, I cannot be a model. First, I don't have the height. I don't have the body. It's just like me. I can never be an MC huh? because I cannot talk like you. <laughs> no, I know, but you know, after I don't know how to pull off like, uh, that, you know, you got tongue la, Then after that, the uh, you know. Hey, yeah, but, you know that Yabber yeah. Nicole used to be a model. Of course, definitely. Yeah. He loved about it. He it's raved about it all the time. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Albert Nichols raved about it. Like, you know, che, someone right. he just commented. I had to flash this as like, Albert Nichols says, as like, I, uh, I had to support my good friends, my, both of you. Thank you, I, Albert uh, Nichols. Thank you. That's, that's enough. I'll give you, you know, one satu kasih like. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> You, you know what, like, Albert is so, it, Albert Nicole, he's, a, he's like a, a evergreen guy and he's lovely and I always see him in the event, he's like Malaysia, uh, uh, you legend, hairstylist. Legendary, legend. you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hairdresser, hairstylist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I mean, again, I, I mean, speaking, you know, this is, uh, I mean, Albert is a, is a very personal good friend. I hosted his 50th birthday. Uh, we weren't that close as until they invited me. And uh, getting to know Albert is uh, even much greater in that. You know, he shared the same as you know trait as you, uh, being natural self, being authentic, you know, and he voice out what he likes and what he doesn't like. And I think That's that what really that what really brings is the authenticity to people. People people are drawn, as, you know, to how authentic a person is. And you know? and the more exposed a person is, is that the person would know whether is it going to be a fake, is an authentic person, right? Okay, yeah. so I, I think I cannot that... cover myself for the past twenty one year. I just have to be myself. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Actually, and it's not how much makeup is that, you know, you put, you still cannot put the plastic, is that, you know. Uh, but uh, I, think, I think it's very important. For me, I think when, uh, of course, I cannot please everyone, but people who like me, they will like me. People who don't, of course, I cannot please them, but I can just do my best. And I, life has to go on. That's me. That's me. So if you're facing the same problem as well, you know, think about it doesn't matter. You cannot please everyone. You know, if the person love you, support you, of course, it's good. They can be your good friend and they can be the one important. Uh, they, they can be your part, uh, a part of your important life. But the person, if they don't like you, you cannot please him. You, you just have to go on your life. You cannot just stay there and to make him like you or make her like you. So you just have to go That's on. That's right, Amber, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Amber, uh, we are going to invoice Albert Nico later uh, because we give him the free airtime yeah, over here. Yeah, you know, so he stores at your limelight. We're going to invoice him later. We're going to charge him. <laughs> oh, Amber, I, but, uh, agree, Amber, we can't please anyone. So I learned from Albert Nico because obviously he's my senior. He's like much younger than me. <laughs> no, no. He's like, but it's true. You know that I'm, I'm still learning for Albert Nico. He always putting on smile everywhere he go. And That's right. uh, yeah, that is... Um, Amazing part of him. And he's so Albert. So long, come on. And he's so damn sedap. He's damn handsome. Yo, so long, yeah. Yeah. Amber, you know, Stanley, so long, yeah. It's a free airtime. You know? So, no, Albert, no. we're going to trash you later. Yeah, no, 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 but is, are you agree with me? He looked like yes, exactly yeah, 30 years yes, ago. No, I have to say yes, no. I have to say he yes. looked like 30 years. You know that when he do the throwback 35 years or 40 years ago, a photo before and after, it looked exactly the same. I'm like, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. How can a person look the same after 40 years? Yeah. Okay, Amber, is it very quickly is that before we bring you know Jacob appears, you know, once again, I mean he's a real host. Just very quickly, uh, to share, you know, to all viewers as uh, how can one person be real and be confident like yourself all the time? Okay. I think um I think positive and positive energy is very important, and uh, uh, it's just especially in the entertainment industry. As I mentioned, you can't please everyone. You will have a different judgment, different kind of comment. So sometimes I will give myself a positive energy. I will telling myself I have to believe in myself. I have to do this. That is how I practice since 21 years ago until now because I move alone from Sabah Tawau to KL when I'm staying alone in the room when I have any any kind of problem on rejection I have to give myself positive energy for me to keep going and keep moving so I think positive energy is very important and also uh, confidence is something like you have to keep giving yourself positive energy then you will feel confident and uh, what you say again uh, how to be confident and also uh, how how to be confident as I and also how to uh, be authentic, how to be real. Okay, and just be yourself. Being honest to you, like I mentioned just now, like I can't please everyone. People who like me, I I really appreciate them, their support. But people who don't, I I can't please everyone. And uh, it's just like uh, sometimes I will get the different comment and different judgment. Uh, especially when I do English talk show like this, some people will just judge me like Amber. Can you please don't go to any English talk show because your English is broken? I'm like, it's okay, you know. At least I can talk in front of public. So for me, I can't please everyone. Some people might like me, some people might don't, you know. So, but not, that not going to affect my confidence to being here. I just have to be myself. That is a real me. I'm a person who can't speak fluent English, but I am a person who confident enough to say to sit here and talk to other. Yeah. So yeah, my, my some people might might judge me from that, but I'm okay. So for me, what I wanted to say that it's uh, you just have to be yourself. Some people might like you because of that, but some people might not. So you, I can't please everyone. So yeah, just be real and be confident with yourself. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. So, you know, <laughs> my friends and ladies and gents, so you're tuning in so, to the one and only Amber Chiaz, you know, and as she has revealed, so, you know, her true self, just not as a supermodel, but as an entrepreneur, as a model, and more importantly, so, as an individual. Uh, her definition of authenticity, authenticity is that it's not about pleasing everybody, but this continues, you know, being real to yourself. And it's like, you can go faster with that because ultimately, we truly, really unable to please everybody. Anyway, the seven billion people, you can't <laughs> please everyone. So you know, but or you can, or you matter. It's about pleasing people. You know, who are drawn to your energy, drawn to your positivity, and to actually have as a you know an evergreen life as a with them. 
So uh, yeah, with that, you know, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. We have been a uh, seventy minutes, as a, you know, overrun. Yeah. But Actually, we can I, talk. We can talk for three hours if you guys still want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, definitely. But I think you know, Jacob is definitely going uh, definitely going to come in, as a, you know, and going to shut us, as a, you know, as he needs, as a, you know, to urgent somewhere else. But there you go, like you know, I mean, uh, to all viewers on. Uh, of course, so on A-Live Connects, on A-Live uh, Group. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that, you know, you will aspire, perspire, and inspire, you know, by Ambitia uh, Life Journey. And also, we'll look forward to, you know, to a new transformation. So with that, so, you know, thank you so much, Amber. Thank really you, Ally Connect. Thank you, Ally Group. Thank you, Arthur. Thanks for having me. It's so fun to talk to you guys here. Yeah, thank you. you. Sure it's A-Live, not a -Live. I think it's a -Live, right? Is it a -Live? Hey. Hey, Arthur, Arthur Tana, we've, we've talked about this, Arthur Tan. You know it's you know it's if you behave yourself. Now I'm tricking Ember, yeah. Can I say Eli on L? Amber, yeah. uh, Amber pronounces it perfectly. Amber's always known. Oh. I'm, I'm just teasing you. I'm just putting a mix, Amber. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm saying something wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, an hour and 18 minutes, you said it all right. So I just I wanted to jump in real quick just to say thank you from again from us at A Life Group to both of you, Amber, for so generously giving up your time and sharing your story with us. It's like fascinating to see what you've been up to and, and how you stay relevant and more than relevant, you stay at the very top of the game for so long, which is great. Thank you. Arthur, thank you. You, you know what, Arthur? I found out that I have to look for a boyfriend like Jacker so I can talk like him. Oh, trust me, everybody, <laughs> all the females say that they are. Joanne, now you want to think you're on, the QS, you're on the QS, Joanne Calm, BB Capel, you know, so anyway. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, Amber, you've got to join the queue. I think uh, the, div <laughs> the divas from last week, Joanne and BB, have got four kids, so. They want to jump on him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no comment, we won't go there. We're still professional, after all, even Ooh. if you guys about lingerie but sure. yeah that, that's about wrapping it up for tonight but thank you both again so much and uh, amber especially of course we know your time is very precious and you're very busy at home arthur likewise a wonderful job as host as always we'll have to get you back on to do more of this thank you, you jacker thank you arthur thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so you know a leaf a live a live a live a live now i'm just going to make sure that invoicing you for it i'm going to start invoicing you soon if you start saying our name wrong all right <laughs> <laughs> good night both of you thank you stay safe take care hopefully we'll see each other again soon when all this is over um, i know it's just been extended a few weeks but hopefully the last ride you know so so take care both of you and the best to your family arthur likewise okay and we'll hopefully see you both again soon okay I can't really do that. Yeah. Good night, yeah. guys. Good, week. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Good Bye. Night. Bye. All right, there we are. The wonderful Amber Chia sharing with us her extremely insightful and interesting, inspiring and innovative somewhat stories as to how she's not just stayed at the top of the game, but continues to lead the way and set the standard for it. And thank you, of course, again to Arthur Tan, who does always such a wonderful professional job of hosting. So that wraps up the first day of week four for A Life Connects. We're back again tomorrow with somebody on the... Uh, on, on the slightly newer side of the game. And in fact, and talking of TikTok, we've got one of the most popular creators in Malaysia joining us tomorrow to talk about this. We're welcoming Eric Lofsted, who is a young, upcoming YouTube content, uh, YouTube and TikTok content creating superstar, who will be sharing with us the, 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 the secrets from behind the scenes and how the, and how this platform has taken over the world. So I'm looking forward to it because I still don't know how the app actually works. So I'm hoping you'll teach me something and I'm sure you guys will learn something too. So that's gonna to be tomorrow, same time on A Live Group. Register for the group if you haven't already and keep an eye out for the schedule there. We've sent out a, a survey in the comments beneath the Facebook group if you want more information on the Amber Cheer Academy. So that's all from us for today. We'll see you tomorrow, same time. Good night, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.